creature of the night, Michael. Just like out of a comic book. I think she's the king of kings. <laughs> Boom! Everybody wants to be like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I say fuck it, I don't owe a nigga shit. It's Glass House, man. I'm in the building with my boy Ocean, man. We yo, in the yo, cut yo, right now. Yeah, that's a fact. What's that's good? A Fendi fact. Shit, man, we chilling. So, uh, my nigga Ocean, this game, man, fellow podcaster, bro. He from the Toronto area and shit. Can you tell me a little bit about, like, you told me, I was asking you if you was from Brampton, because I've been seeing mad niggas talk about <laughs> Brampton in the past few days. <laughs> I guess that nigga Tristan Thompson been wildin'. I guess he's from Brampton. Yeah, Tristan Thompson's from Brampton. Um, to be honest, he's a, he's old, I think he's older than me, so like I don't really know him or nothing like that. But nah, I'm not from Brampton. Brampton is like Brampton is like a place where people are just a little a little wild. Like I don't know, people are just like it, it's a bunch of like it's a bunch of like I guess I guess you could say gangsters out there, but I, I'm not sure if they like demand them. Uh, I guess you could say they're growing. They're growing. They're up and coming. They're up and coming. Like I'm from, I'm from Scarborough. So, this shit. Born and like, raised? Nah, I was born in Alabama. Oh, no shit. Yeah, I was born in the states, but yeah, I was born. Uh, I was, I was raised in Scarborough. So like, it's different over here. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm like, I'm not from the hood or nothing. But like, we get it. Like, it's different in Toronto. It's different. Like, you can get the culture. Like it's not it's not like the states where you where you have to like be a part of it. Like I'm not I'm not saying I'm part of it, but you can get the culture from like listening to music and being outside. You know what and I just mean? Being like, around and at the hookah yeah, like, lounge and shit. You know I mean? Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to be like part of it. Like I'm not out here trying to like start problems or nothing. But you know, I hold my own. So you know? tell me the difference between like if a nigga say he's from Toronto or he says he's from Scarborough. Like, is there a difference, or do niggas from Scarborough mm. say they're from Toronto? If some people are ashamed, like I know, I know a couple of people that are ashamed to say they're from Scarborough, just because Scarborough is looked at as more as like a ghetto, I guess. You feel me? So really, okay. Yeah, so Scar is that like the yeah, west well, side, the east side? Like what no, part Scar of Scarborough's on the Scarborough's on the east side? There's a people from the west end, like people from the west end are just they're just like messed up like those guys are dangerous like i like what the west end people are messed up scarborough people i guess you could say yeah they're dangerous too but i i don't know it's just it's a bunch of rad like you know it's like everywhere like it's it's messed up yeah, places everywhere, everywhere you got you feel me? Ate up. but where's the most yeah, every, area tough. in toronto is it scarborough know, is it weston or whatever you said weston mm, no the west end Oh, the saying, West but, End. Yeah, so that's like jungle and shit. Shout out Renee and them. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like jungle. Um, and that's yeah, the spot that Drake is always referring to. Yeah, I think I think he likes like an Ethiopian shorty over there. He used to or something. I don't know nothing about that, but <laughs> but yeah, no, I'd say no nah, for for a minute for a minute there uh, there's this intersection called Jane and Finch, where um they were saying that that's like the most dangerous part of Toronto. Northside okay. Jane. You see, I didn't believe. I thought Toronto was like it was Canada. So like when Renee was telling me and my nigga David was telling me like, yeah, it's like you know what I mean. It's fucked up out here. Like it's like Google this shit. I was like, oh, I'm gonna see like a couple news clips. Ah, 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 you know what I mean. I'm used to that yeah. shit. I'm in between Indianapolis and Chicago, so you know what I'm saying. Some yeah. headlines ain't shit, but it was like a Wikipedia page was like saying like it was like the most impoverished area, the most dangerous area. So and so many murders and fucking. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's, it's it, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people think like a lot of people think that yo, like, it's it's Canada, so there's nothing over. But you guys have to remember, there's people, like, there's people that have nothing to live for a anywhere in the world. Yeah, I mean, Word. like, you can find, like, you can find someone in like Calabasas that's tough, and it, it might not like he might he might not he might not be the most the most hood. He might not grow up Facts. with like the least things, but at the same time, if you're tough, you're tough. 
You know what I mean? Like, I know a couple, I know a couple white dudes that are privileged that will beat someone up. Word, you know what I mean? Word. Like, you don't have to Same be. here, same here. I know a few of them. Yeah, Shout exactly. The gang like, and the man them. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to, like, a lot of people got to misconstrue, like, you got to be a gangster to be tough. Like, nah, like, it's, it's some people, it was some people that'll beat you up just, just for nothing. Some white Word. kids. You know what I mean? So how long you been doing this podcast and shit? Yo, to be honest, stop. To be honest, like, I did the podcast. It was called the Toronto Code. I see. Um, it. Yeah, I stopped Where like a couple a couple months ago. I stopped because I was just like, yo, like, well, first of all, I don't I don't really got the time for it anymore. But also, I was like, um, the guests that I was getting on it, like, it got to the point where I was just on Twitter asking people, like, yo, who wants to be on the podcast? You know what I mean? And like. Yeah. It was it I mean, was cool. It was cool, but at the same time, I was like, I was like, I'm not trying to get. Well, first of all, I'm not trying to talk to myself for what thirty minutes every week, and also, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to get like for real, for real, random people on the podcast too. You know what I mean? Because at the same time, like, I fuck with y'all on Twitter, but like, I don't really fuck with y'all on Twitter like that. <laughs> like, it's, it's just twitter you feel me like yeah that's what i'm saying like i don't really want to talk to y'all on twitter like that so but sometimes sometimes like y'all like on twitter it's cool you know what i mean like on twitter it's cool like I, I'm because you can cut it off stuff. you feel me yeah but, like sitting the there is, for like <laughs> yeah it's, yeah it's just but the thing is what i also don't like what i also notice about a lot of people that like are way over their head is like you guys need to stop acting like you guys need to stop acting like um you mad you mad too good for other people like i, exactly. I noticed a lot of people on twitter like like yo if anyone if anyone tweets me or nothing or if anyone tweets me or anything i'm responding you know what i mean like Facts. It, it could be anything like some people exactly. is too way over their head yeah some people is way over their head like oh like this person has 20 followers i'm not responding at the end of the day it's it's a person that's tweeting at you you know what i mean <laughs> behind the followers or, behind the followers or anything at the end of the day it's a Real person shit. that's tweeting at you so like it's not like just because it's 20 followers that means it's it's not a person tweeting at you you know what i mean so like nice. yo i don't like that shit yo if you're on twitter and you're like too good to talk to someone yo you're a waste bro you, waste man who are you who are you <laughs> Who are you is the real question. Are you stupid, you know I mean? bro? People are way over their head, man. That's And that's the thing with Toronto. Because sometimes in, in Toronto, like, we don't have we don't have real celebrities here. You know what I mean? What? Like, you said Drake's not a real celebrity. No, nah, I mean, like, I mean, like, we don't have real celebrities that come out. Oh, like, Drake comes out, pop. but I mean, like, we don't have celebrities that, like, like, I was in L.A. and I was at this club and it was just, like, T.I. was there, Waka Flocka was there, like, regular, you know what I mean? Like, or, that's or. regular. So, like, over here, since there's no celebrities, like, since there's not a lot of celebrities that actually come hang out, like, regularly, it's the it's the people, it's the regular people that think they're the celebrities. So, it'll be, like, a bunch of locals with, like, 30K followers that have nothing but nice clothes on that yeah, think nice they're pictures. the celebrity. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing but nice pictures <laughs> with the 7 uh. plus on portrait mode. <laughs> and they think... And they think you know they can't respond to people. It's, it's retarded. Like, the, I don't like know. who really knows just, you. Like, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. People need to get it together. There's a bunch, of, and they all broke too. Shout out to you if you're broke and stealing things from stores, and you think you're mad popular. And shout uh, out to the scammers too. Yeah, and, and and the people that rob people with BB guns. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Oh my God. Sheesh. Make me cry. But anyway, man, so you got a little playlist and shit, some little Toronto shit. i seen a couple of these joints never heard of, and I got a, a decent little Toronto selection in the Serato right now. Yeah, like Ram Riddles? Yeah, bro. yeah, Ram Riddles, he's he's actually on tour right now in Europe. He's he's fire. Like, yo, he he's actually the first, he's the, so- he's the guy who made the song Sweeter Man by Drake. I don't know if you know Sweeter Man by Drake. Do you know the song? I, I've heard people refer to it, yeah. Yeah. He's the one that made it, and then Drake remixed it. He's he's from, um, I think he's from like Mississauga or Brampton, somewhere in somewhere close by Toronto. He's on tour right now, actually in Europe. Um, my boys, my boys on tour with him, and shout out to him, man. He's he's good. He's buzzing right now. So hopefully something comes out of him. <laughs> but um, check it out, bro. I need to ask you something. How do you, how when did Tex follow you? 
I peeped that shit the other day. I was like, damn. Tax my stone. Nigga tax Shout out to Tax Stone, man. Yeah. Free my nigga <laughs> Free tax, tax Stone. That's a fact. Free Tax Stone. <laughs> um, I don't even know, to be honest. Like, we used to always tweet at each other. Like, we used to always tweet at each other on some, on some random shit. And then... <clears throat> I don't know. I think he tweeted. I think he tweeted some some shit about um, he ran. Nah, we always used to tweet at each other. And then actually, Yes Jules blocked me because of him. To be honest, if you know if you know who Yes Jules is, one time Yes Jules was tweeting about um, <clears throat> like her and Taxton went at it or something. So yeah, then I just timed it. Like, was... Yo, see, he was like, Yo, don't post no pictures of your ass and see if you still lit. And she dead ass stopped posting pictures of that ass. And I yeah, was, yeah, I yeah, followed she... after that. Yeah, he said he said that, and then I I don't know I forgot what I said to be honest. I said something along the same lines. I was just I was just, you know, I was just I was just your culture bullshit, like, your thirst trap. Yeah, yeah, I was just bored, so I was just on Twitter. So I said some shit too. She blocked me. I was like, ah, right, whatever. And then I don't know. I was just tweeting tax probably, and then he tweeted he had tweeted something random about um, if you want me to follow you, don't come aggressive or something. So I, I tweeted I, I, I might I might I might have I might have tweeted something like hello hello kind sir let me <laughs> let me get a follow all the way from Brownsville I know you're over there right now it's probably something like that I don't even know well he's already but, in jail uh, this is during the Yes Jules thing so nah 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 I was in Cali back then when that Yes Jules shit I was I was asking you if he was in jail but nah. Oh, no, no, no. He wasn't in jail. He wasn't in jail. He I don't even know how then. he's... I, I don't even know how he's in late. jail tweeting, to be honest. I don't even know how he's in jail tweeting. It's New York. Tax, man. You do a lot of shit out there, man. I need <clears> to write that tax, nigga, bro. I'm going to start streaming his shit on Wednesday. just like he never left. That's a fact. Yeah, I got... um, I got, like, a couple people that said that they were going to write him. But I don't know if he ever wrote back. I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would write back. I mean, there's not much to do in there anyway, so... All right, so I could probably DM that nigga. That nigga probably still is it. Probably. Right. That's probably fast anyway. He did an interview. He did it. He he was on some guy's podcast in New York. Like, yeah, from um, jail. From jail. Yeah, he was on. Wow, I don't I don't know where it is, but he was on. It. So yeah, you were talking about those fake celebrities and shit in your city. You don't think Killy's like a? I want to say a fake celebrity, but definitely a celebrity that you could like see around and shit. Mm, I don't ever see him, but word. I don't I don't I don't really go really I don't really go out like that, but. It's, it's different. I mean, like, like he is like now there's a lot of because the thing is in Toronto is like now there's a lot of rappers. So, like, there's a lot of rappers from different areas that I mean, Cause I'm in tune with a few. You feel me? Yeah, like they're like, this is the thing, like, because the rap culture has popped off so hard. There's so many hoods that there are people from that you didn't know until this rap shit popped off. Fast. Yeah, I mean. So then now you're just like, oh shit, there's so many people everywhere that claim they're whatever, whatever and whatever. And they might be, I don't know. That's the thing. Like another thing that Tax said was like, people from the West Coast always say like, whatever Bloods and Crips aren't real in New York, right? But you can't say that in New York. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's I different. Mean, like, it's just like, like, New York is definitely like heavily gang like, yeah, of course, of course. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's the same thing. It's the same thing over here. Like, it's not like, it's not like T. Rogers or anyone like who founded the Bloods or Crips came over here and said like, "Yo, you can make a set." But at the uh, same time, if people are making their own set, then they're making their own set. Who's stopping? Right, right. You know what I mean? So like, it's like at the end of the day, it's still like it's still tough people over here. But and Jay wanted to know that one of my homies from San Diego wanted me to ask you that. Yeah, he said um. Let's see what he said. He said, ask this dude if he me ever met a blood or a crib. And did you go to school with a blood? He's just, yeah, I don't know. He's nah. infatuated with gang culture. <laughs> yeah. He's from the West Coast. That's why. But no, nah, I, nah, I never, I don't think I did, to be honest. It, it was a couple people that was like, that would rock like a, like a blue bandana or like a red bandana. But like, other than that, like, I don't know, to be honest. I really yeah, don't know. I'm from like the Midwest, so niggas don't even do that. They'd be like, also, BD. GD. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, they're like gangster disciples over there or some shit. No. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. No bloods, no crips for for in the Midwest. Nah, nah. nah. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. Like, it's different. Like, people think you have to be a blood crip, gangster disciple, or thirteen or whatever to be to be tough. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. It's like, like, I don't like, know. Like, they, that's a badge of validation or something. I mean, cops yeah, is the yeah. same way though. 
I mean, yeah, of course, but like that's what I'm saying. Like people think you have to do that. You don't have to like people. Yo, I know some people that are not part of anything. Mm-hmm. That'll take ground, on the bro. Whole, yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. And that's the thing that people need to understand too. Like you don't have to be gangster to to stand your ground. Like it's nothing like that. Like I tell people all the time. Like I'm not a gangster. You know what I mean? Like I I'm not. I, I I never I never came up from the hood or nothing. But like you're not playing with me. You did. <laughs> exactly. You best not try to play with me, Twitch. That's what I'm saying. For real, for real. Let me see what else. Uh, somebody else asked me something else. Oh yeah. Um, spots to go when you do pop out. Um, are one of my cool? boys. Are you a shisha guy? Like, oh, I play basketball sometimes. I used to play basketball a lot, but mm, I I I be playing ball sometimes. Uh, one of my boys owns this hookah spot downtown Toronto. Shout Bird. out to y'all. What about the um, slide? Yeah, you can come through. It's called Shisha and Co. It's at Young and Wellesley. They own that shit. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's 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 the best shisha in Toronto. I mean. One of my boys is a is a pretty is a pretty um I guess you could say he's popular in Toronto. Shout out to Giovanni. Um he's like a party promoter so or like a club promoter I guess. So if I'm if I ever do go out, I just go out with him cuz I don't I don't really be wanting to I don't Stand this is in the line. thing about me. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to like I don't like doing that. And I, it's not even on some like it's not even on some like bougie shit. It's just like you yo, look I'm like a bozo. To, yo, to be honest, to be honest I don't need like sometimes I'll wait. Sometimes I'll yeah, wait. Yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes no cap, I will. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sometimes I'll wait. Like so, say, for for example, the Andrew show show is gonna. You know Andrew, you know who I'm talking Andrew. about. Andrew Schultz. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Oh yeah, you know him yeah, too, right? Yeah, like he he has a show that's coming up, and like I'm gonna wait in the line. Like I'm not gonna text him and be like, "Yo, get me in." Like I don't I don't care about all that to be honest. But or, yeah, like if I go out, like real nigga I don't I don't go out often, so. And that's the thing that people have to understand. You, you, you can't ask too many favors from people because sometimes free shit be the most expensive too. Shout out to tax. Word. You know what I mean? <laughs> free my boy for real. For real. Like, I'm spinning his yeah. shit. I'm going to schedule his shit on Wednesdays like every episode. You should. You honestly should because yeah. there's a lot of gems in those episodes. Facts. Just put it on the automation. It's every Wednesday mm-hmm. just like you never left. Trust. Mm-hmm. Facts. Glass house. Real nigga shit. But yeah, you said the shisha spot. What, what was the shisha spot again? It's called Shisha and Co. It's at Young uh, Young and Wellesley. You'll find you'll find me there. I'm usually there on the weekends, to be honest, because I don't I don't go out as in like the club, but I be I be out like I, I chill with my homies, where they're mostly every weekend, one or two or, days. Or. Where there, that's where you can find me. If you have a problem with my tweets, that's where you can find me. Get out with me. <laughs> I'm on road. No, I don't want no problems, man. I don't want no problems. I'm <laughs> good. Stay. We all, we all know good. peace guy shit, man. Kumbaya yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Kumbaya. Exactly. I don't like pe- I don't like people who always try to like, you know, some people, you know, you know there's some people everywhere where like all they want to do is go out and start problems. Scum gang. <laughs> Not even like that. It's like they really they really go outside and look for problems. I'm like, "Yo, Jesus Christ, what? Is this fun to you guys? Like this oh, makes you shit. happy or something? Like it makes no sense to me." I'm like, damn, like, this makes you happy to go out and look for problems and look for more beef to start so you can look over your shoulder every time you're outside. Like, I'd rather, this is the thing that I learned, like, <clears throat> it's way better to be appreciated than to walk in a room and have people scared of you. Like, mm. when you walk in a room and have people scared of you, that doesn't do nothing for you. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, that really doesn't do nothing for you. But when you walk in a room and people appreciate you and, like, they fuck with you, that's, like, you know what I mean? Like that that'll make you that'll make that you energy. happier. That'll, yeah, exactly. Like people want to walk in a room and be the scariest guy in the room. Like, chill out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> chill, what do you want to be the scariest guy in the room for? Like, what does that do for you? It makes no sense to me. For real. Seriously, man, it's the passion, man. You gotta have passion for this art shit. Or for whatever yeah, you do. Of course. For that part. Of course. But that of that course. was a gem though, that appreciation shit. That's a gem mm-hmm. right there, man. Trust me. So yeah, play um, the song, play I'm oh, the one. I'm the one. Yeah, he's, that French? He's, he's yeah, he's like some guy from Chester Lee. Shout out to y'all, man. Chester Lee is another hood in in Scarborough actually, um, and it's a lot of rappers over there buzzing right now. I'm a skinny nigga, so I'm gonna keep a gun. Hey, that's it hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got the street with me right now. What is he talking about? Yo, it be like that though. Yeah. 
I'm still I'm still lifting yeah. the weights though. You know what I'm saying? Just in case nigga got a squabble here and there. Hey man, uh, let me. I'm let not me looking tell for you, it. Not that energy though. Hey, let me tell you, you when when you have no beef ever, it, it's the best feeling ever, man. It's Fact. the best feeling ever because all you do is focus on getting money, and you know, stay focused. Yourself, like, Secure the bag. Exactly. So yeah, my young bull man, he just uh he just asked me another question. He said, "Tell me more." Like, how was his grades, or was he doing drugs? I wasn't doing no... Uh, I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, nah, my... But the thing is, I was never a school guy. Like, I was never I was never a school guy. So, like, I got through it. Like, I got through it. It wasn't like I was failing. Like, I got through it. But I was, like, a C's person. Like, I got okay, C's and shit. Okay. Yeah, I, I was never failing. And I never, like, you know, I never smoked... I never smoked or drank till I was, like, in... in in university or college, I guess, what they call it in the in the States. I never I never smoked till then or drank. Mm. So, and the thing is, even that, like, I stopped. Like, I don't even do it often. Like, I probably drink, like, two times, three, two or three times a year. Like, or, like, actually, I lied. Probably, like, six times a year, depending on, like, what I'm doing with my, with the dudes. But, like, I haven't, I haven't smoked in, like, five months, probably. Like, I don't really like it, Solid. to be honest. Yeah, I don't really like it to be honest. Like, I like I like feeling like myself. You know what I mean? So I feel you. And, My nigga from Dubai be saying that same shit. Like, yeah, I don't. He I don't doesn't really, like anything to alter his brain. Yeah, and the, yeah, exactly. And I'm not, like, I I feel like I'm not like, like I don't need to like I'm comfortable with myself. That's the thing that like people need to understand. Once you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to you don't need to use things to feel like someone else or like to feel different because you're good. I'm with high on life. Yeah, you know I mean. But, like, I get it. Like, some people just do it just, like, just for the fuck of it. Like, just for fun because they fuck with it. Like, I, I get it. Like, I'm not yes. hating. I'm not hating on it. Like, well, I get it. His own. But... I never press yeah, anybody exactly. who doesn't smoke either. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, I get it if you do. I get it if you do, and I get it if you don't. So, yeah. So, I want to know, because I seen that one video when you was tweaking, I guess, on your roommate about that one prank. Y'all got to go check that out, everybody listening. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that's my that's my homie. That's not my roommate. That's my homie uh, Joseph. Shout out to Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I peep you got hella fucking subscribers, bro. Nah. Like, when did you I don't start got putting... that much. I just I just got eight, I just got eight hundred today. K, to be honest. Nah, 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 nah. nah you don't nah, have a couple k. Nah. I got a cu- I got a couple k views like on my shit. This is the thing about uh. YouTube. Like, I used to start off doing reaction videos, right? So right, I peeped those. I was like, yeah, I was like doing reaction videos, and then one time. Um, I made a hockey video, so, and that shit popped. So I was Playing like, okay, let me just. Or... No, 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 react reacting to. I don't play no oh. hockey. Reacting okay, to hockey. Like a... Okay. Well, yeah, I was reacting to like the hardest. No, nah, I was reacting to like the hardest hits or some shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean? So and it popped. I was like, okay. and it popped. It got like it got like I think like five thousand, six thousand views or something. Huh. So I was like, I was like, all right, so let me just do hockey videos. And then I started doing hockey videos a lot, a lot, a lot. And then um, they started flagging my shit, so I stopped. What? But, Why? Oh, NHL? Yeah, for copyright, yeah. Uh-huh. They started flagging my shit, so I stopped. And then, um, so now, like, I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm not going to lie. I need to get back to it, though. I definitely need to get back to it. Yeah. Um, I just that need one to find video, that w- I was expecting it to be, like, I don't know. You know, it's just your homie shit. And then I was like, wow, this is like a real reaction. Like, I thought you was going to, like, you know, uh, what's that shit, yeah. script it? That shit was funny yeah. as fuck. He was like, yeah, really nah, he was playing folks. with me. Yeah, he was playing with me. He was playing with me. But he was like, bro, know. you came in back or like that. Back. <laughs> 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 nah, I need to get him back. I honestly need to get him back. He played with me. Facts. He was playing with me. That was hilarious. Like, wrong number. That was, that's not my number. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I would have tweaked them, bro. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Hey, you play you play Fortnite or not? Nah? Yeah, bro, I was going to ask you about that Fortnite shit, man. Um, I'm kind of trash. I'm actually pretty damn trash. I'm actually really trash. I'm not going to cap. I'm, pre- I'm pretty bad, too. I'm not going to lie. Me and, my, me and my homie been trying to get a dub forever. Bro, yeah. I swear I added you already, though. Is what's your, uh, is you on PSN? It's, yeah, it's Ocean Reacts. Oh, shit. I, I have uh, spells. Yeah. I thought that was you. Yeah, if anyone wants to play up. with me. Play Ocean Reacts. Facts. Man. Ass Cutter 64. That's my gamer yeah, tag. Uh, and we gonna play. Yeah, I, mean, I, heads, I, play, I play with anyone too. I play with anyone. Like anyone invites me, I play with y'all. I'm not. You know what I mean, All right. I'm not facts. A lot of motherfuckers that listen to this right now, or people that I know through the streaming, like niggas fuck with me on my streaming. I got banned off Twitch 
like two months ago. Yeah. It hurt From my what? heart, bro. <sighs> Fucking, I guess, um, violating some community guidelines or something along you're those lines. Something? No, no warning at all. I guess all you're right. Some kids were like trying to extort me. Yeah, I guess swearing too much. I don't know, Doctor Disrespectful. Like he's like the face of Twitch, and besides Ninja, obviously. Yeah. But. Shout out to Ninja. He, that's what his market is. Is like just being mad disrespectful, and these kids uh-huh. was like, you know, trying to extort me on GTA, and I was just like, at this certain point, I was just like, fuck you, kids, motherfucker, like, what the fuck y'all gonna do to me? And then boom, in the middle of my stream, like my most popular stream, I had like fifty people all from the UK just, yeah, just crashed on me. That's funny. That's funny as hell. Hey, yeah, but we shook back, man. We're on YouTube. Shout out to YT. Yeah, shout out to YouTube, man. Facts, facts. So you have anybody um, from Toronto that we should fuck with? Besides um, Broski? Does he have an ad anywhere? His IG or something? Um, <laughs> nah. Nah, there's no ad. There's no ad. You just fuck with me, Ocean TSC. You gotta be there. That's all, all, right, that's all you gotta okay. fuck with. Yeah, you gotta be there. You gotta be there. And then, um, yeah, I, I got no one to shout out, to be honest. <laughs> no one de- <laughs> no one deserves one of them shits, to be honest. No one Fuck made me y'all. laugh on Twitter recently. No one made me laugh right. on Twitter recently. It's you been ugly on, on Twitter, Twitter the past few days. Yo, this is the thing on Twitter. Like, I'm, I, like, I used to tweet so much more because, like, people on Twitter, like, Twitter was the last place where they would still let the jokes fly, no matter how PC, like, the world got Twitter was the last place where they still let the jokes fly. But now, mm. people not even letting jokes fly on Twitter. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be the I'm not trying to be the one guy who like still I'll, I'll still tweet some shit randomly, like some stupid yeah, shit. I tweeted randomly. some yeah. shock value shit the other day, and niggas was in my mentions going nuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like, I'm not trying to like be the only one doing that. So I was just that's why I stopped a little. But yeah, I'm just like, yo, it's not that serious. Like people joke all the time. Like, and the thing is, people are acting like they don't joke like that in private. Like, or they people, didn't even chuckle at it anyway. Like, yeah, like exactly. Like yo, you know you're laughing. First of all, you know you're laughing. That's the only and way you also, got offended. Yeah, exactly. Because you thought it was you know funny. Facts. You know you're laughing. You just don't want to laugh in public because you want to be social justice warrior. Like, come right. on, I hate those guys. People was exactly. this, this. Did you see the video that I'm talking about? Which one? Where it was like this dude was in a car in the back of a fucking car, and there was like mad kids around him and shit. Like, and he was like getting top from this thing, and head top. What? Well, if it was on World Star, I might have saw. It. I think I saw it, but I'm it not sure. It might have been. It was. It was just so shock value and shit. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> like the kids like banging on the window, and then like he looks in. <laughs> and then he like sees the the girl like it's probably his mom's and shit like yeah giving top and he's just like oh and I was just That's like hilarious. if you laugh you're going to hell and then everybody was in my mentions like just going nuts like every person from Black Twitter was just like <laughs> yo and the, that's the thing though it's funny though yeah I mean <laughs> it was like hilarious. if, if it, it's funny so like I my if you're laughing then though. you're laughing All right hey. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you never know. Like that's the thing with Twitter too. You never know. Like sometimes you'll tweet some shit, and no pop, pop, but you won't even expect it. And then sometimes you'll tweet some shit that like you think is gonna pop, and they'll get like two favorites and like one. That's retweet. what I'm saying. Like this is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> right and then here, you'll see Kanye. And then you'll see Kanye West. Just just recently, Kanye West tweeted some shit that I tweeted like two years ago. Yeah, and I got seen mad that. retweets, and I was like, Jesus Christ. So how did you tweet that? Did you quote that from a fucking? No, nah, copy and paste. No, nah, I I didn't copy and paste it, but I got the idea from somewhere else. Like I, I don't know who who I got it from or whatever, but it's not a new idea. Like people, shout yeah, out Kanye very... West. He's back on Instagram, but he is. Yeah, I mean, like it's not. I mean, I mean, sorry, not on Instagram. On Twitter, on, on Twitter, Twitter, on Twitter. My bad, my bad. Um, he's back on, and he's tweeting like a lot of conscious shit i guess a lot of people are hating on him recently for saying that he, i've been he going off the, um, yeah 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 and and that's fucked up too to be honest but i mean like to each his own right like you can't you never know you never know what's behind his thoughts you know what i mean because at the end of the day it's like th- that's the, that's the thing that you guys have to un- like a lot of people on the internet have to understand like of course like people think a person tweets one racist thing or like one thing that's a little ignorant and then think they're like 
all the way racist. You know what I mean? Like it's not like it's not like I mean, that. Like depending on what they said, the way, especially racist. It, de- it depends on what they say, but like, say for example, like some like someone said, like I've been claimed that I was a racist before on my Twitter, and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Like, I how mean, does that be racist like, to does other does joints? Sense? So I guess yeah, I see what you're saying. Because I might make a racist <laughs> joke to Asians and. Yeah, but that but that's what I'm saying. If, if you say a racist joke, then that's a racist joke. That's not right. that's not like like if you say if you say like yo Asians are bad drivers, like that's a racist joke. But I'm not saying yo you're a racist. Or you know what I mean? Like it's the difference between being racist and making a racist joke. If I say like yo you like watermelon or some shit, you like chicken. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's that's a racist joke. Right. But it's not like it's not like I hate black people. You know what I mean? Like it's not like it's not like that. So that's the thing. People, people just need to lighten up on 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 social media because you know you're laughing at the jokes in in private conversations. So just laugh. Right, you gonna bring it up with your mans and he gonna laugh too. Like damn, that's fucked yeah, exactly, up. Exactly. <laughs> like exactly. So just lighten up. Everyone just needs to lighten up. So what was the worst thing you will compare to the Twitter community? Or if you ask them, um, what was the worst thing you've ever tweeted or whatever? Like with niggas just like tweeted, yo, delete this nephew. No, nah, I tweeted. I I tweeted one time and my barber pressed me about something. <laughs> I tweeted. So, I tweeted. But my barber is my boy though. Shout out to Solo, man. Yo, if you're ever in Toronto and need a haircut, go to Solo Cuts What's at the Proper at, Barbers. Man? Let me see the fade and pics because I'm definitely going to need so, a haircut. It's called Solo up. Cuts. Solo Cuts. S O L O C U T S. Solo Cuts. Oh shit. And he's the best bar. He's the best barber in Toronto, to be honest. Oh, um, shout out to him though. But yeah, I tweeted one time. I'm like, I don't think I'm like, I think white privilege is real, but I don't think it applies to everyone. That's what I tweeted. And then, yeah, Twitter was on my ass. <laughs> and what he said, he pressed you. He's like, nah. He was just like, I wanted to talk to you about one of your tweets. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, ah, right, bro, which one? And then he told me that he's. I'm like, I'm like, yo. At the end of the day, this is what I meant by that tweet. So I said, so I said, I don't think white privilege applies to everyone. And this is why I said that because have you ever seen, okay. Have you ever seen one of those white, one of those white, white peoples or like white families that are just like, they're just like dirty. Like they're just like, <laughs> like they're just like, from, like trailer, like trailer trash dirty. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like, yeah. yo, how can these guys get a job? You know what I mean? Like, but right. I mean, the way he put it was like, was like, if it was a white person in the situation and a black person in the situation, he would still have more leeway. And I guess that's true. Like, I, I do understand that. that. That's a fact. But I, yeah, yeah, I do understand that. But what I meant was like, without comparing, like, because I'm not like, white privilege isn't a comparison. It's just, it's just like saying like, yo, white people are more privileged than whoever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not economically, that's different. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, the government doesn't care about the white people in the in like white trash. Yeah, if you ain't got no I, money, you just as bad as a black person. Yeah, exactly. So that that's what I was saying, but I don't know. But yeah, his situation is like, if like a Fed was right there, like you know what I mean, like. Yeah, and obviously that's true. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, yeah. obviously, black people get targeted more by the police than white people. Like, uh, that's obvious. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like, some people, but even like, like Twitter, jobs and shit. Like yeah, if you have like, like a black sounding uh, name on your resume, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. I feel that. Unless you work at one of those uh like social social movement social movement companies or some shit. Like yeah, Starbucks. Shit like, or, like I see Matt. I mean, they're getting better with it now, but yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But back in the day it was like you were <laughs> fucked if your name was you know, La Quay Quay or whatever. <laughs> it's like, crazy what? as you, you wanna work at Walmart? You wanna work at Walmart? <laughs> Relax. Thank God my name's Michael. Every day. I love What's your name. last name though? What's your last name though? X. Yeah, I don't, don't own my slave it. name. <laughs> right, so it's not a black name. name. It's not a black name then. I mean, I looked it up. It's like some Swedish shit. It's like man, ain't no black people in Swedish man. That's like a slave name, bro. So it's like you know what I mean. Jesus Christ! How does that feel? How does that African feel? African Americans. Like... That's every African American. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I have, have like a real brown. question. I have a real question. Why do people? Why do, why do African American? Okay, why do African Americans don't like it when people say the N word, but but they say it constantly? 
if it's if it's demoralizing, then it's demoralizing, no? <laughs> so wait, so what what ethnicity are you? I'm Chinese. So like we're it? slaves. Full, so like, like we're slave we're yellow? slaves too, realistically. Yeah. Like we were shit. slaves too in the past. But at the end of the day, I, I'm just not I I just asking that because like I'm just saying if it's disrespectful, then it's disrespectful. You know what I mean? Like it can't be and if it's and if I get it. Like some people use it in an endearing way or like a different way. But if you're using it that way and someone else is using it that way, then I don't see the difference. Like, say for example, like, say for example, like someone calls me a chink, right, or whatever. Uh-huh. Okay, like, okay. and I'm like, yo, that's kind of fucked up. But <laughs> if I say that, and if I say, but if I, but the, but the difference is, if I say that's fucked up, I'm not calling my peers chinks either. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm right, not like, right. yo, yo, chink. Yo, Chink, you know what I mean? Well, like, what is I'm an not... endearing term that only you can call another Asian person? Do you guys have that there, word? I don't think there is one, but that's the thing. Like, I think, I think if 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 one thinks that saying the N word is disrespectful, which I believe it is, you know what I mean? Like, I obviously believe it is, but I'm just saying, if one believes that it is, then why would anyone use it? You feel me? Hmm. Does that make sense for me? I, I... I see it like this. It's all about context, person, and situation. It's the equation yeah. of the N word. Yeah. No, that's that's what I'm it. saying. It's all that's what I'm no, that's what I'm saying. It's all context, right? Like if someone like say for example, I'm sure you have homies that are not black that say it to you <laughs> when when like y'all are chilling, but you guys are cool. Right? You guys mm-hmm. are cool. So like at what point does like it become like universally okay? Not university okay, because I don't think you'll ever get to that, which is fine, because I don't really care. Like, yeah, I used that'd to. That'd be cool I if it to, never was okay. That'd be great. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I don't care. Like, I, I used to, I used to tweet it to be honest. I used to tweet it like in songs <laughs> and stuff. I used to tweet it in songs and stuff. And oh I yeah, stopped. songs you can do that. You can fucking do that. Yeah, that that's what I, like yo, I was watching. I was watching um the weekend like uh, the weekend perform at Coachella like a couple years ago online. I was watching a video. And then he said the N word in it, and what there's a bunch he? of white people in the crowd. No, he's black. He's like, okay. he, he's black, but like, it's like, at the same time, it was a bunch of white people in the crowd saying it. So I was just like, so when is it? So when does it become acceptable for people to say it? And like, it's like, it's like, not not when, as in like what time, but when, as in, like. Uh, how like say for example you just said you have homies that would say it and they're not black or whatever mm-hmm. you know what i mean how like, long would we have to be cool for him to say that yeah exactly <laughs> like what what is the time limit like okay like yeah, you're cool you, now you know what i mean all, like you're cool you now be able to call me the n-word 10 times out of 10 i'll say nine times out of 10 you would have to be saying it frequently beforehand like, there's no way, like, if you were, like, a white dude, I'm <laughs> telling you. New thing. It's a new thing for you. <laughs> I, I, this is new law. I'm telling you. I'm about to put it down. Fucking, if, if, um, you know, you're you new to this. You start saying it now. <laughs> yeah, if you're new to this, like, and this is for any, like, slang term, like, you might hear me saying it one time, and then you just start running off with it just because you're right here with me. Just yeah. to sound like me. Kids online do that all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, goddamn... What was I about to say? That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't think because this is the thing. I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think people get mad at the fact that people say it and they're not black. I think the more deep rooted problem is people think that that's a hood term. So people think that you don't have to, like yo six nine says it all the time. No, mm-hmm. I I have never met one person press six nine for saying that word. I've never not not even on Twitter. I've like, never heard anyone say he why did six nine it. He say didn't that. He started saying when he was famous. Like, he but that's what I'm, it. That, but that's what I'm saying. Like I've never heard anyone press him about it. He's not black. That's what I'm saying. You know what if, I mean? you, if if you part of it, like bro, like I'm saying, like if you never said it before and you just come up to me and you start saying it, I'm not gonna talk to you ever again. And then like chances are you ain't gonna say it around nobody else because you're a fucking weirdo. But yeah. if you've been but, saying it, that means you've been around niggas all your life. People call you niggas all the time. And you call them niggas back, and they're okay. Like, that's the high, the nigga at the Habib store. That's the nigga who owns the Ching Chong at the corner in the hood. That's everybody, you know what I mean? Like, white, black, Mexican, indifferent. Like, if if you're referred to as a nigga on a regular basis, and you call people a nigga on a regular basis, then you're good. Like, because <laughs> you be in the hood and all that shit, you know what I mean? Like, 
that's just what it is. Like, my white friends, like, them niggas be in the hood more than me. So it's like, hey. oh, shit. So it's like, um, you know what I mean? Like, who the fuck gonna press them? Niggas in the hood gonna, like, some nigga press them, they homies gonna be with them right there. Like, yeah. who the fuck you, you pressing? It's my white nigga right here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> you mean pressing yo, this can, nigga? Yo, can you hear me right now? Yeah. Uh, it turned off for like a second, I think, because it said um, the show was done or some shit. But yeah, like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, but the thing is, with that, it's it's different because it's like f- for that, it's like, so what is the real issue? Like, is it because you're not you're not black and you have it? Because the argument that I've heard was, yo, you don't know the struggle that our ancestors went through, which is a perfectly good excuse. You know what I mean? Like that. That in Excuse, itself is a perfectly, or or good reason. Sorry, a good a perfectly good reason for people who are not black to say the word. I'm mean, to not say the word. Like if that's you, a perfectly good reason. If you have no reason. business saying it, don't say it. Yeah, exactly. That's all I can say exactly. for white people. If you have no but business that, saying it, like you yeah, gotta be saying. with the shit. Like if you a nigga, you gotta be doing nigga shit to be saying nigga like that. You know what I mean? Like, and that's the only way you're never gonna get pressed because you with niggas all day, drug dealing, doing nigga shit at all times. Like if yeah, you're doing white boy shit, you can't say nigga. Like you can't. You but, ain't even but gonna that's, feel comfortable saying nigga. Like, you know what I mean? but that's what I. That's exactly what I'm saying though. Like, is the word for the hood or is the word for um facts or is the Pretty word much. for because because you're not black and you and our ancestors have like it, it was used to like you know like mm-hmm. talk down upon that's our ancestors. That. Yeah, of course. But that's what I'm saying. Like, is so what's the like if you're giving passes to people from the hood then like if you're giving passes to anyone then that means anyone could really say it you know what i mean like if you it's live not that it's, lifestyle yeah. yeah exactly exactly but that's the thing if like you don't it's, it's more but the word itself is more than a lifestyle you know what i mean it's not it's not just like yo i'm from the hood so i can say the n word you know what i mean yeah, but people who say it, like, who, people who are frequently saying the people I'm referring to don't walk around like, oh, I got an N-word badge because I'm in the hood. Like, no, nah, they, yeah. like, bro, they've been getting called since they were three years old. You know what I mean? Like, they fucking ATs is black. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And call them nigga all day long. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. just been doing this shit. Ain't got a job. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Fucked up. Like, that's the only motherfucker that will ever say nigga around me and I'm going to still dap them up and still respect them. Period. Uh-huh. A nigga that I know is going through the same shit I go through. That's a nigga. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Facts. exactly. Exactly. No, I feel that. But anybody yeah, else, you're a fucking weirdo. Like, stop, my nigga. Shut up. Like. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Hey, play the um, the last two songs. They disappear. I don't know where they went, but yeah, what, what, uh, it was the self, I think. And what else? Yes. Yeah, yeah, something like that. It was safe, safe, safe. Safe, safe, safe. And that's man. Safe and then, and then Roy Woods. Yeah, safe is from downtown. He's this song is good too. I I fuck with this song. The song is good. And then there's one more, Roy Woods. And then that's it. That's it. All right, brother. We're going to ride this out. Yep. Let's get fucking with you. Yo, so what's the difference between the dot and then um, GTA and YYZ? I think it's called. So YYZ is just Toronto. It's just the Toronto, like, um, airport airport code or whatever. So that's just Toronto. The dot is just a nickname for Toronto. No one really calls it the dot. No one in Toronto really calls it the dot, the six. Like, no one really calls it that. Um, oh, no shit. And GTA is just called the greater Toronto area. So that's just, like, so that includes, like, Brampton and, mm-hmm. like, the north side. Like, I guess, like, Vaughn. There's, like, a city called Vaughn. Um, and, like, on the on the east coast, like, Ajax or Pickering. Like, I guess that's, like, the greater Toronto area. But... No one really calls it the six or like the dot, to be honest. Like people just from Toronto just call it Toronto. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. I like it's nothing like that. I, I guess unless unless you're on a song or something, you want to sound cool, maybe you call right, it the six. Right. But yeah. Creature of the night, Michael. Just like out of a comic book. And she's the king of kings. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Everybody wants to be like Mike. 
I love that. That's a nice that's a nice drop. Hey, this is Ocean TSC. Thank you for having me, Glasshouse Radio. Um everyone tuned into this shit. And uh I'm gonna be back on this soon. Peace, yo. Very soon, very soon, my boy. It's all love. Hey yo, hey, hey, uh, I used to clock in for that paper, not clock paper like average. Used to clock in for that paper, not clock paper.